Good evening, everyone. I'm Sarah Sager. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. First, a community left behind to mourn after a teen was killed in a crash. Troopers say David Mitchell died yesterday evening when the golf cart he was driving ran off the road and turned over. He was just 15 years old. Tonight, students at Fairland High School crossed the stage for graduation while also taking the time to remember one of their own. News Channel 3's Andrew Colgrove was there as David's memory was honored. The class of 2023, excited for the next phase of their lives. So many mixed emotions. Fairland seniors reflecting on what turned out to be anything but a typical high school experience. They lived through the COVID era here, and on the day before their graduation, one more tragic lesson that tomorrow is not promised. I just want to give my condolences to, to David's family. The ceremony began with the crowd paying respects to 15-year-old student David Mitchell, who lost his life in an accident Thursday. I've heard from everyone how kind and you know genuine he was. Class President Steeler Lieb didn't know David, but says everyone's thoughts are with his family. We're all grieving as a community. Um, you know, people that didn't even know him like me. You know, we were, I mean, me and, and my friends. We had never really talked to him because he was a freshman. But you know, it doesn't matter. You know, whenever whenever Fairland loses a dragon, you know, it's it's uh, it's really upsetting. Steeler lost his father to cancer last year and knows firsthand how this community rallies around its own. We have a really tight-knit community here, and you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a shame. It really is. We'll definitely miss him around here in the Fairland community. Hearts full of hope for what the next step brings. Also heavy for the young life ended much too soon. Andrew Colgrove, WSAZ News Channel 3, Proctorville. Now, the Fairland superintendent released a statement saying they're praying for David's family, friends, and the school community as they cope with this terrible loss.